fantastic that they're here. I'm as pleased as punch to be able to spend the afternoon with these lions. And amazing. Sorry, guys, I'm just having a bit of a problem with my radio. There we go. And the amazing thing is that we often watch all the documentaries on TV and post high action, but this is what lions do for about 20 hours of the day. John on email is wondering why their mouths are open like that. Is it helping them cool off there? It is, uh, John. So uh, lions aren't able to sweat, so they have quite a big problem with getting rid of heat. And uh, they've got lots of blood vessels in, in their mouth and in their tongue particularly. And being able to draw air over that cools the blood and helps them to cool down. And particularly now that they've got very full bellies, they have more trouble dispelling heat because uh, digestion, the pro digestive process actually causes heat. So when they've got full bellies, they are less active than normal. But we have, oh, there we go. Is she going to roll over again? And when we popped up, when we arrived here, the sun was a little bit higher up and we parked in here and we were started off in the in the sun here but as it's cooled down the lions have actually moved closer to us and they're coming creeping into our shade and it wasn't shade when we arrived and they're able to digest meat at an incredible speed and we, uh, you can see one of the older Inkuma lionesses, she's got a broken right canine there. And that's not uncommon in, in cats, and big cats in particular, to have broken teeth, even from quite a young age. And this little girl, I think she's got all her teeth still. And that lovely light just filtering through the trees onto the side of her face. We took the lioness who's furthest away. See if we can see if she's got any broken teeth. Her mouth's open. Oh, she is behind a bush for you. Oh, dear. Uh, well, we'll have a look a little bit later when she gets closer. So, a lot of you, I know a lot of you, your favorite lioness is the amber-eyed lioness. And that's the lioness lying there on the left. Can't really see those beautiful eyes of her just yet. And she is snoozing she seems to have both her bottom canines and she's in magnificent shape at the moment so debbie in north carolina oh look at that back feet of that lion they say you see those perfectly formed pads with the three lobes debbie i'll be back to you in a second so, Debbie in North Carolina is wondering about the pregnancy of these lions, and is it too soon to know whether they are pregnant yet? I would say it is. I would say they're more than likely not. Um, as I said, we're probably only going to get cubs from the next set of matings. What month are we in now? February. I probably end of June at the earliest. In July, more than likely, even possibly closer to the end of the year. Uh, it's not... As, as lions go, they're not 100% certain that the Birminghams are going to stay. So they often prolong and have false estruses when they mate uh, to make sure that the new coalition of males are permanently in the area and they're not going to move off uh, or be threatened by another coalition. It's unlikely because there are five of them and there's a very strong coalition. And I think for now, I think the lionesses will just be biding their time before they actually get impregnated. And that is a evolutionary adaptation uh, to make sure the lionesses don't put a lot of energy uh, in birthing and trying to rear cubs when there is a possibility they will get killed. 